Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learn Recipe with Mahesh. In our interview question series, the next question is something like this. Which service in Google Cloud you like the most and what improvements you would suggest? Uh, by asking this question, the interviewer wants to basically understand basically um, do you have any improvements for a, a specific service itself? So how much deeper you have gone exploring that specific service is what the interview would be expecting to know from this question. So uh, let me share what I usually say when I get such kind of questions. So usually I go prepared with this kind of questions, usually at least one, one service which I am very comfortable, I can talk a little bit more on that. So let me share what I shared uh, in the interview. But before sharing that information, a quick shout out from yesterday. I started doing a little bit of marketing for the batch 8, which I'm starting on 8th of January. It is not on 9th of January, 8th of January uh, 2022. If you are interested, you can drop me a mail uh, um, for getting more details on that uh, by dropping a mail to learngspwithmahesh at the rate gmail.com. Now going back, to what was the service which I mentioned the most which I like. Let me share that information. So I mentioned the, the service which I like the most is the GCP console. Now some of you may ask is GCP console a service? Uh, technically I would say it is a service. The reason is if I click on this uh, cloud status dashboard, I should see basically a a line item for GCP console, meaning the service can go down sometimes. So if you look into, say for example, uh, some of the history, you will see uh, Cloud Console was down for sometimes in some places. It would have occurred basically. So literally I would say it is basically a service. Uh, this was my favorite service which I like. Uh, why? Basically the ease of use. Any new GCP uh, service comes, it is going to be available at some point of time in the GCP console. It gives a little uh, easy way of understanding how things works. At some point of time, yes, definitely people are going to move to G, uh, G Cloud command, use infrastructure as a service like Terraform. Yes, that's the final stage, but in the beginning, uh, for example, if someone is trying to explore um, Kubernetes, in Kubernetes migrate for containers. Now, to understand how one can migrate from uh, VM to containers, this option is a good option. You do a first of it assessment, then create a processing cluster, then create a source, finally do your migration. Now this flow makes it very easy for someone to learn in the beginning. So that's the reason I, uh, most of the time I say GCP console is my favorite service. Now what's the improvement which you can do? So when it comes to the improvement part of it, uh, there are a couple of stuffs which I usually highlight it. Uh, the first part is the inconsistency. Uh, what I mean by that is if I create a virtual machine console with all the default setting versus we, I create a virtual machine in the command line, uh, they are going to have some difference. So if I just create a, a virtual machine uh, in GCP console, I'll call this as GCE. Uh, console interview and I leave everything as default. When I leave everything as default, what you see is the machine series. The machine series is going to basically have E2 series. Now, if I do the same thing in command line, it is going to be N1 standard. Now you may ask what a big deal in this. Uh, sometimes, right, E2 series is not going to support many stuffs. For example, E2 series does not support having a local SSD. So I cannot create a local SSD, meaning I have to click a couple of uh, options. Uh, laziness, that's it, nothing else. So I have to make it as N1 standard one and then I have to do it. So this is one inconsistency which I uh, usually highlight it. And let me show that in front of you, oh, leaving everything as default. What is going to be the value? and by the time this gets created, let me do the same thing in my uh, uh, GCP cons, uh, cloud shell. So compute instances uh, create um, the name. I'll call this as uh, CLI just to indicate I'm doing it from the command prompt. I'll put the zone as uh, uh, Singapore. 
Now when I do this, it creates, but it creates it with a N1 standard one machine. So that's going to be the default machine type, which you will see. So this is inconsistency is what I wanted to highlight. So this is something, a room for improvement. So let's wait for this virtual machine to come. So once it comes up, you should see basically it is N1 standard one. This is basically uh, E2 medium. Now the second inconsistency which I have seen, which, uh, which is little annoying sometimes when you are quickly doing something in the UI and something is not working as expected. For example, if I create a bucket, so uh, console interview itself, let, let that be the name. So if you see, if you create something in the UI, the access control by default is going to be uniform folks. Uh, if the same thing I create it from uh, command prompt, gsutil mb gs colon slash slash, I'll call this as CLI interview. This is going to have fine grain access, folks. That's the difference. So again, there's an inconsistency. Now this is console interview, so which I created in the console. If you see, the access control is uniform. Now if I go back to my console, uh, the main page, click on in CLI inter interview, here you will see it as fine grain. This is another inconsistency. They could have done something similar. Uh, and the last one is on BigQuery. Um, uh, I had also highlighted this in one of the videos. Uh, so I'll show that in the, I'll put it as the cart uh, in the YouTube uh, so that you can see that. What is that is, if I do any, run any query in BigQuery GCP console, it is by default going to have um, the dialect as standard folks. But if it is in you in the terminal using C, uh, using BQ uh, CLI command, it is going to use basically uh, legacy dialect. So if you don't want to use legacy dialect, you have to explicitly mention hyphen hyphen use underscore legacy underscore SQL equal to false. Otherwise, the queries are not going to work. So I'd already done a video last year. So this is another stuff which usually I highlighted. So three inconsistencies is what I have seen. Like this, you may see some more inconsistency in the product as you use it. Now what this is going to show to the interviewer, you have heavily worked on GCP console. At the same time, you know there are some inconsistencies that shows how much you have worked on GCP. So that's the video which I wanted to share today. Uh, basically, uh, go prepared with at least one service which you like the most, some improvements, something which is good about that. So that can definitely help you to save some few minutes because this is like a, a standard question which is what I feel. So at least go prepared with this option so that you can save some time and you can basically uh, use the time for some other difficult question in the interview. So thank you for watching.